Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Pixgun 3D video on the channel and today we have another Mythbusters. I really want to talk about a few things before we get into this though. It has been, I believe, three weeks since I last uploaded and I'm really sorry about that guys. I've been thinking a lot and I was actually thinking about quitting but don't worry, I'm not going to quit. And also, that Q&A I said I was going to do, I'm still going to do it because I did get my play button and it's pretty cool. Now, why was I thinking about quitting? I don't know. I just don't really, I don't know. I just don't really like the game as much as I used to. But, you know, I guess it's kind of refreshing to come back to it after three weeks of not playing it at all. So, I don't know. I think this is going to be good for me. Also, I wanted to say that I created a second channel and I'm really excited about this channel. I've got some really cool art on it so far and I haven't uploaded anything to it yet, but I'm thinking about doing videos with my friends and just funny moments in games that I play. So if you like me and want to see more of me, go ahead and subscribe to that and I'll try to upload to it. So yeah, let's get into the video though. Alright, so the first myth of the day is that the water rifle puts out the fire effect and it maybe also puts out the poison effect. So we're going to shoot my dummy right here with a fire weapon. This should work fine, so then we're going to shoot him with the water rifle right here and see if it actually puts it out. And actually that myth seems to be denied already. He is still burning on both screens, so we're going to try it with uh, the poison now. We got this. It does poison them. And then let's shoot him with this. And it looks like he is still poisoned, so that first myth is busted. And then the second part of the myth was that the charm effect puts out the fire and the poison effect. So the charm effect is actually on the love spell. So let's try this out. First, let's shoot him with this. And it does not look like that it puts it out either. Now trying the poison. Then the love spell. And yeah, looks like both of those myths are busted, so let's get on to the next one. Alright, so this next myth is that getting poisoned effect is more effective than the burning effect, so I got my uh, dummy once again. So let's shoot my guy and see what the before damage is and then after damage. So it looks like it did 9 damage, and then it's slowly kind of burning me. But didn't really look like it brought me down one just because this is kind of weird. But let's try it out with the poison weapon now. So it did two damage before. And it looks like we may have to change the game mode. Because, well, in this game mode it kind of makes you a little bit stronger. But before we do that, I kind of want to test out a different myth. And that is that uh, the signaler or signaler grenade or whatever it's called affects only the player and not the pet so we got the little bunny right here or rabbit let's see if it actually affects it if I use the black hole thing and it does not look like it does so uh yeah that myth is confirmed before we redo the uh poison and fire myth I kind of want to try out this myth and it says here is a myth if you get to wave 10 in arena there is a coded creatures so I guess we're going to try this out really quickly so I'm pretty sure when he says the coded uh, creatures, I'm, I think he may be talking about the creatures that you see in the last battle of campaign, which I think that would be really cool to fight them in arena. I'm not really sure what this is going to be because I really never play arena. Either way, I'm pretty sure that the giant zombie is still here on wave 9, I believe. So that would be pretty cool to look at that thing again. I just really like that big zombie. Okay, this should be the wave that the big guys come out. And then one more wave after this. And I believe the coded creatures are supposed to come out. Yep, there he is. So easy to kill though. Alright, I believe that this should be it. And if it's not, oh well. I, I guess I'll try one more round after this if this isn't it. Alright, so far it's not looking too good. You got the wizard's little pets right there. Which is kind of cool, but they're not coded. Alright, so I'm going to do this round, and then I'm going to call it quits for this myth. But, you know, it's a cool myth anyway, so I'm glad I did it. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was round 11. Here are the coded creatures. Nice. Okay, so this whole round should be just coded creatures, I believe, then. Because, you know, it's kind of rotating through the mobs. So that is actually really cool. I don't know, I haven't really played the game in a little while, so I guess this is kind of refreshing for this game mode, even though they are kind of just reskins. But you know, they're the best kind of reskins. So let's get them all grouped up in one place, just to look at that. Cool. Okay, well that myth is confirmed, let's go ahead and get on to the next myth. Alright, so there are two weapon myths that I want to quickly try, and this first one is that you can three categories spam with the Alien Blaster, the Poseidon Trident, and also the Laser Bow, so let's quickly try this. Alright, okay, you know, I need to get this down, it's been a while. Alright, so yeah, I think we can clearly see that they are, there's like a no limit how fast you can really do that. Other than, uh, you can't go from this to this. You just have to go from this to this to this. So, that does work out, but you need to wait for the animation for the Poseidon Trident. Which, I think this is like, like right now, I went into a game and that seems to be the meta right now, kind of. So, yeah, that first myth is confirmed. And the second part is that uh, get the alien cannon, throw a grenade, and shoot the alien cannon. And the grenade and the alien cannon will fuse together. So I got the normal grenade right here, and I'm going to try this out. I've never tried it, but hopefully we can get it first try. Oh, I missed the fire button. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to throw the grenade so that it doesn't like it's up. But, we'll try it next round, I guess. Oh, okay, you can see that it kind of bounced off the grenade. It didn't fuse together, but I'm going to try this again, just to get a better result. Um, well, it seems like it did bounce off. They didn't fuse together, though. I don't know, I feel like maybe this is possible, though. That's kind of cool. But I do know for sure that the grenade is a solid object now, so that's cool. Oh yeah, it bounced off once again, and you can like, actually move the grenade. This comment was one month ago though, so the results may have changed, but as of right now I'm kind of leaning towards it being busted. But you know, that is, so far it's going pretty well I think. Dang it, sometimes I just miss it completely because I think that the button's in a different area. But if you guys do know how to fuse them together, like, with a little bit more details, go ahead and tell me in the comment section. That would be really cool. Or if, you know, you can fuse together different weapons. Uh, I re okay, just one more try. One more try. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to say that the myth is busted right there because, you know... It seems just to reflect off of it every single time. So let's get on to the next myth. A lot of people actually struggle with this map in campaign, so I thought I would go ahead and try it out, this myth. And the myth basically says that when you are getting shot a rocket at you, uh, you basically go into armory, unequip and re-equip armor, and it will make the rocket disappear. So we're going to try to make a rocket guy shoot at me real quick. Okay. Let's get him to shoot at me. Go into armory. Armor. Unequipped and re-equipped it. And yeah, the rocket is, it's disappeared. So if we just normally do that, it does not disappear. But if you go into armory, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. That's really helpful actually. So, hmm. That myth is instantly confirmed. And I may actually use that in the future if I want to do a challenge where... I use bad weapons or something. I don't know. That's cool though. Alright, so this next myth is apparently there is a bug's shadow on the background of the comic in Space Station or before Space. Let's just go ahead and look at this though because it's supposed to be before you enter Space Station. So I think this is right. Let's look at this. 
Oh, he means the bug's shadow right there, I'm pretty sure. I'll zoom in on that. And yeah, that is a secret, or like, a screen peek. You know what, what's the better word for this? A preview of the final boss. Okay, well, that myth is confirmed. I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about, the bug. That's cool. That's cool. I've said that so many times this video, but I'm going to keep on saying it because I just like the word cool. Alright, so I've come to the conclusion that the best way to test out this fire and poison effectiveness myth is just to do it on like normal people like this. So as you can see, the four, and then it uses it two times. And if I use this, you know, it's too strong, so I'll probably have to do it on the boss, which is unfortunate. Maybe, oh, yeah, maybe I'll just miss a few bullets. Okay, let's try this out, actually. I've looked over the footage a lot, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the poison actually does more damage. Uh, it's really hard to see, though. And also, maybe it's based on your weapon, so maybe a fire weapon will do more damage than some poison weapons, so... This myth is just, it's a good myth, but it's just so hard to test out, so I'll leave it to you guys to try it out and, you know, tell me in the comment section what you guys think. But for me, I think that poison does do more than fire. I think this was enough proof to show that poison does do more than fire, uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, but that's going to do it for today's video, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Often that I cannot fall in love, but I guess it's the voice that's just falling out of it.